What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions at Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials.com 50 cents a day to learn how to make any type of beat. We go over arrangement in depth, teach you the concept of energy curves and how to manipulate them for song arrangement. We have the music theory for computer musicians tutorial where we teach you how to effectively use the scale quantize to master music theory. And so so much more um today i was working on a track and um funny story right so uh, i'm in the studio with gunplay and there's there's a couple of other artists in there and um you know we we're going through one of my tracks and i'm like and he's, he loves it i'm like yo but this is a sample he's like whoa well, we can't use samples and he starts to go off on this uh, on on this rant about how um there are people who are paid to just listen to music and identify identify samples and send the uh, send you know the sample police or whatever after you. So he's go he goes on for like five minutes about this shit and um, talks about like like how he got how he got uh, hit because of a snare a, and, and and he couldn't use one of the records so he don't like no samples in his beats or whatever. So the other two the, the other two um, artists that was in the room one of them who I'm making the next track for is like all right you know I love making sampled music da 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 but but I want samples but I don't want to um I don't want to have to worry about any of that stuff so I'm using I you know you know I'm using loop kits and trying to recreate a sample vibe um and one of the uh I've I've got this track pulled up <clears throat> So, you know, I'm pretty much ready to get into arranging the track. But the thing about the thing I'm not feeling is the bass. Um, I liked in um, in a lot of the samples, you know, that I've used like this in the past. You know, when you rip something from a record, you filter it out. And it still has that original bass guitar on top of it, but it's filtered out. And then you kind of you kind of put your own sub bass over it. You'll either follow it or you won't. But those those plucks from the original bass sample, um, some of them will still be in there where where you don't have your bass line. So I wanted to I, I really wanted that effect because I feel like that's what's going to help make an authentic sample this sounding record um, on top of the processing. So what i did was i copied um i copied my bass midi right let's pull this up and we'll turn this a different color so it's easy to see turn on the ghost notes and what i did was if if you look at it There. All right. So the blue notes is the original sub bass. And then what I did was the yellow is I added these um, is I added these accent notes with, you know, with the actual bass guitar sample. So now so now when you listen to it, um, let me just get the original vibe. So now so now when you listen to when you listen to the bass line, you have this. But what I want is I still want that filtered feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into um go into my Pro EQ and just take out you know the amount that I would if you know if I was filtering the sample. All right, so that's so that's cool. And when you play it in the context of the track, you get this. whoops so it's just it's just kind of pushed back there in the back which is which is really cool that's um that's what i want um i'm gonna go ahead and use a new toy from from slate um these things are 
fire. I mean, like if you don't have the Slate Everything bundle yet, but and and and, and you were and you were thinking about like what type of plugins to buy, bro, just get this shit, man, because it it is so easy to use. Um, it's a really simple and straightforward bundle. Everything does what you think it's supposed to do. It's not like something like Waves where there's where there's all these old plugins from like 19, you know, 98, and you know they're all really amazing plugins. Like don't I'm not shitting on the Waves, but when you're just starting out. Um, having something that is just so graphically pleasing and then just so dope to the ears it, it, it's it's really um it's really a lot man so i'm gonna go ahead and take this london preamp and and, and this is like their two modeling um the console and uh preamp behaviors you know it's it, it's a harmonic tool it, it's gonna add vibe and and uh distortion and things like that so and that's what i want um from this process. So I'm going to go ahead and just crank this. And what I want to happen is I want this meter to just to just slam and barely move. So I'm going to turn I'm going to turn the bass up a lot and then I'll wind up turning the output down. See that's now we're getting somewhere. Let's put the trimmer in. I'll just put another one ahead of it so I can really slam this. All right, so now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mix this in until I can get it where I like it. what I like so um it's 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 very 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 extremely subtle um like like you're looking at me like crazy like yo why would you go through all that work just for something that you're barely gonna hear but it's all it's all these small things added up that's gonna add to the vibe so I'm gonna go ahead now and send all these at a bus for these channels and uh We'll go ahead. Shit. I don't want to mess this up. I had these going to bus one. And then we'll send bus one to bus two. There you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and just uh, throw the old decimord on top of this. <clears throat> And Decimort is Decimort is godly. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that SP 1200 12 bit vibe going on it. with it this is without it then to 
add a little bit more. Just gonna go ahead. <clears throat> so I'm I'm emulating I'm I'm emulating putting that through a sampler right now, and now I want to emulate putting it through a console. So I'm just gonna go ahead, get a virtual mix rack going here, and hit it with this. Remember to use the console. start to hear that shit's getting really dirty so I'm just going to I'm gonna dial this one back a little bit <laughs> I like the way that sounds a lot better so we'll go from you know we'll go from having having this vibe to having this vibe So after you roll off some of the extreme lows and the extreme highs, you know, start to warm it up, tighten it up a little bit. You really, really get that feel of um, of something sampled as opposed to, you know, a, a really great uh, loop kit, you know, recorded through the best equipment um, and mixed to the best um, standards, you know, for for sale to, um, you know, to um, sample based producers and things like that. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio One Tutorials dot com. Keep it simple. Don't be basic. Visit Studio One Tutorials dot com and we will see you on the next one.